project today. I'm going to build a little item. I got this uh, old SEC 1223 power supply cabinet, one that uh, didn't work for a while. And we're going to build something inside this cabinet. So, what is a steel cabinet? A roller inductor, two connectors, and two varial capacitors build. Yep, builds an antenna tuner. So that's what we're going to build here today. We're going to build a antenna tuner. Um, the big old roller inductor. Uh, somebody got 24 uh, UH wrote on it. So I'm assuming it's 24 UH. Uh, I really don't know. And then we got a couple capacitors that came out of the little MFJ tuner that I had that uh, gave out. So we're going to use the uh, the trimmer caps again to build another antenna tuner. And uh, it just so happened that these will fit inside in the cabinet. No problem. So uh, see how this little project works out. If you're interested in See now I'm going to build this thing. Stay tuned. You guys got two capacitors mounted right here, side by side. Didn't think much of a gap there between them, did I? <laughs> um, I got two SO239 connectors mounted. They're in the cabinet. And now I've got the roller inductor bolted to the top of the cabinet. There's my connection points for my uh, roller inductor, in and out. Um, so I got that running down through the top of the cabinet with a rubber grommet in place. And then that's going to connect to internal parts of the tuner. So the next part now is wiring this thing up. Let's see if it's going to work. But, uh, yeah, tuner. It's not to a tuner, but it's pretty easy to do. There we go. Just watching uh, Ray fix, uh, fix something here. Some tube contraption of some sort. And, uh, so we go. Anyways, get this thing wired up and see how it's going to work. Or not work. <laughs> okay, got the uh, <coughs> tuner wired up. I got her, uh, so right now as it sits, the inductor is grounded. And um, just look at the back here. You got the black wire, which is on the output, is on ground. The input is the white wire that uh, comes through this wire to the two caps. You've got an input wire. Then you got your output wire. And the uh, circuit I'm using is this one. So, we'll wear it up. We'll close it up there now and uh, test it around the old 767 there. And uh, see if this will actually tune any SWR. I think this should work fine. That's me, I think it's a pretty neat little tuner I got made here. Anyways, that's just me. Well, guys, I got the, uh, the tuner hooked up now to the uh, Yezu 767. And uh, she is definitely working. I touched the coil. <laughs> but uh, well, I can run 100 watts. This is VO1 MDS test one two three three two one Victor Ocean one Mike Delta Sierra test one two three three two one. Put her on. Uh, our power 
Test one two one two three one two three three two one. Put her on S to the rear. Test one two one two. VO one MDS testing one two three three two one. VO one MDS Victor Ocean one Mike Delta Sierra testing. And the roller inductor is working. You notice to the background noise. So yeah, so far I managed to tune my 40 meter antenna on 40 meters, 80 meters, and I've even tried 20 meters, and it tunes no problem whatsoever with that tuner. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, boys. I got a few pictures going on with this, and uh, well, good love the homebrew stuff. And uh, it works. The only thing I would like to do now, next, is to encase the coil into a uh, steel case itself. I'll have to work on that one. I don't need a whole lot to make that happen, but it'd be nice if the coil was enclosed. Anyway, so the next, here we have an antenna tuner for HF. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to uh, help some of you guys take one building.